The Garden Report is powered by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. I mean, you can what's lose. What's up with Tatum? Bobby, what's the deal? We, we, we already talked about Tatum a lot, but we, I'd like to get your opinion on I mean, you were kind of easy on him after game one. I wonder if you But I did have a fear, Jimmy. If the shooting struggles continued, would he try to force his way out of it? I feel like that's what we saw from him tonight. Uh, at times, getting aggressive, so. going down to the hill and getting to the free throw line, 11 free throws in this one, right? But one in the second half, uh, seeing crowds, taking difficult shots. John was sitting right next to me, and shot after shot Tatum took. He just said, difficult. That's a tough shot. And sometimes All of he them. hit him. Even a couple of the makes, yeah. Difficult shots, I like, but that's I don't... a really – it's not a strong take where he's getting it all the way to the rack and putting it up clean. Right. Everything is a spin or a clutch. Or They didn't or, take or, good or, shots or, tonight. All, all of them are hard. They're hard. Remember when we used but... to talk about how difficult it was for these guys to score like year, like a few years ago, Bobby? It seems like blast from the past a little bit with Tatum. Like it's just nothing's coming easy for him right now. That was a question to you, Bobby. Nothing's coming easy for him, and they're not going to allow it. I mean, they've said it outright uh, throughout this series. But I don't I mean, mean that they should allow it. I mean, like, voicing this chat right now into into a state of depression. Yeah, I'm not saying that it sh- they should make it easy for him, but he should be at a point in his career where he should be able to get his. <laughs> and I understand what you're saying, Bobby, where he's forcing it a little bit tonight. But this was a night where, he, unlike Game One, when he didn't need to force it. Somebody needed to try to get going in this game. So I, it's not that I hate, hated him for trying to get himself going. I would have liked to have seen it maybe in different capacities and maybe, again, being a little bit more aggressive, going to the hoop. Not not some of those shots that you had mentioned earlier with the turnarounds and the contested shots. But this is a guy that needs to put the team on his back in certain situations. This would have been a perfect example tonight. Um, I just couldn't do it. And that's, I think, the, con- the growing concern is if he's capable of it. Testing my skills on prize picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Yeah. Is this, this your is king why we right said. Here? Yes, this is why we said coming out of last game, great, you do the other things. It was all perfectly valid, you know, that that take many people had. But you rely on him for scoring, John, as you said. And if you're in this situation, like Jimmy just mentioned, where you need him to score to keep you in the game, and he's unable to do so, and he's missing shots at a high rate still, you're screwed. And you end up with yeah, 94 and so, points. And- and that's the thing is like the 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 defense of it is odd to me. It's like, well, they're throwing a lot of bodies kn- at him and he's getting doubled. What good player doesn't get a lot of attention? That's part of it. That's like part I, of why I do they a know? good player. That's part of it. Like it's supposed it's supposed to be hard. Like, what are we talking about? Like is that's it. Well, it's it's been hard for him and he's doing other stuff. Yeah, sorta. He's doing some other stuff. But, I mean, not enough of what he needs to be doing right now. I'm sorry, it's not enough. It's short. Well, what do they? It doesn't what do they mean want? He's awful, like the worst player. He's not. He's just. He's supposed to be your star. He's got to be able to do more. So it's not what wrong did, to ask for more. And what do they want him to do right now? Is is anything he does fine? I don't. Uh, think he wants they to know. go out there and just pass and be a diversion. Great. Look, if they want. To, it's on their mind, right, Bobby? We said it. I'm, again, we're sitting right next to each other in first play. I was like, there it is. They clearly ran a set and, and, and tried to get Tatum on a switch down low against a smaller defender and an early, easy touch near the basket. It resulted in two free throws. Great. Getting him an easier look. Still couldn't get it up and over, but he got fouled. Then he goes to the basket again on a pretty good take, gets fouled again. So it's kind of a little bit of a good start. Then it kind of stopped being that. They didn't. 
scheme for him or game plan to get him touches in certain spots. It just kind of devolved into the whole, I trust you guys to do the right thing sort of thing. And it turned into just a bunch of chucking. And that was it. And inefficient drives and high degree of difficulty shots, creating transition buckets going the other way. The fourth so they're not quarter turning was it over, scary. They're missing at the rim, and that's causing, the, that's causing it to go the other way. And it's just killing them. It just killed them. Yeah, the fourth quarter was scary. The body language, how much oh. they let the game. They let go of the rope completely. And the game went out of control. It was a 24-9 to nine run to start that quarter. And it just reminds you of some of those moments where they looked helpless and lost in past postseason spots. Uh, end of that Heat series that they lost. The end of the Warriors finals in that game six where the Warriors just sprinted them off the court in the second half. Uh, that was what it looked like in that fourth quarter. And can they bounce back from that? Yes. They're still going to win this series. They're probably not going to lose again in this series, just like in game uh, in the last series. But when you see stuff like this, you see what could prevent them from winning a championship. And so if they go on to win three straight here, great. They got the job done, but you still have this lapse. You still have this disconnect in a game like this. Uh, it's, it's just a no show. Like that's all you can describe this as. And Tatum deserves all the criticism he's going to get. He's playing poorly this postseason. But know ball, Bobby. nobody, Sorry. nobody showed up tonight. Nobody. Uh, I, I disagree. I thought Peyton Pritchard did. I thought he was the only one. Peyton the gave him some energy. Horford hit some shots uh, when they were shying away from him. So there were some performances that I guess go down as silver linings. But when you collectively as a team fall out right. of the game to this degree, you didn't show up. And how does that happen? How does that happen at home? How does that happen against this team that's missing two guys? It just keeps happening over and How? over and over again. I was going to say, it's happened plenty. Yeah, it's happened plenty. And this is like a yeah. new version of this team. It's a new coach. We've seen it happen under three different coaches. Like, when this just keeps happening repeatedly, something – like, you, you're you allowed to lose. Like, to go back to the point Joe's made a million times, you're not going to go 16-0 and on the way of the championship. You get that. But to lose like this – this is what may, gives people doubt. Take the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets at game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use the code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem the code CLNS and get $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed.